Got to give a shout out to Walsh. Walsh had a, a magnificent performance yesterday over here in Tennessee at the Tennessee State Capitol. He, uh, he showed up to talk about it. it was, there was a bill that was up about transgenderism. And Walsh, Walsh just showed up. He's a citizen of Nashville. And the, the Democrats thought that they could entrap him. They thought that they could own Matt Walsh with facts and logic. Did not turn out well for them. So I'm curious if 16 is uh, a, uh, an adult in your view. Uh, why does this bill have uh, the uh, minor de- defined as 18? Uh, Mr. Yeah, well, Walsh, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's a hit piece you took from Media Matters. Uh, from something when I was a, a radio host uh, 13, 14 years ago in my early 20s. Uh, it's also not an accurate reflection of what I actually said. Um, I was talking about uh, the fact that people tended to marry young historically, and that's all that that was about. Um, how does that relate to, the, to this subject? I'm just curious of your definition of, of if you feel like people are adults at 16, should... Well, uh, people are adults is- at 18. Uh, but actually, your, your brain is not fully developed until you're 25. So we should be having a conversation about whether we should even be doing these surgeries to people at 18. But certainly before 18, it's, it's absurd. I mean, do, do, you, do you think that a 16-year-old can meaningfully consent to having their body parts removed? Do, do you? No? We do not. Yeah, we ask the questions. It's not... It's, uh, okay. Representative Hammer, you are recognized. Absolutely devastating. I, I knew it was going to go bad when the Democrat opened his mouth because he was unsure of himself. He clearly, as Walsh pointed out, he, he had this gotcha that he, he got from skimming a Media Matters or SPLC or one of these left-wing hit organizations and a hit job on Matt. So you, you once, you, met, you said a thing on the radio about how 16-year-olds used to get married so, and so, you know, like, um, so what do you, come on, you know, what do you think about that? And Walsh just absolutely pile drives this poor, <laughs> this poor Democrat state senator. <laughs> and he's a, so, okay. All right. Well, here's the explanation of the line that you took out of context for Media Matters. Um, but just, uh, let's just talk about the question here at the hearing. Do you really think a 16 year old can consent to having her body parts removed? And the Democrats like, uh, uh. Somebody help me! And then the other, the other state senator or whoever this person is says, hey, we, we ask the questions here. Yeah, right. Maybe, maybe you would be better legislators, Democrats, if you had answers as well as questions. I know, you got a lot of questions. You're confused about a lot of things. And uh, Walsh went there and provided pretty simple answers. It's not pretty basic stuff, guys. You don't need to have a PhD and a Dr. Fauci white lab coat and a stethoscope and you can just, you can have eyes. You have eyes and common sense to see that boys and girls are different. Now, this hearing on big tech was absolutely a magnificent. There's much to say about it uh, as pertains to AOC. She had some real, real face plant moments, uh, and it was the highlight of, of, the, uh, of, of the hearing. I'm going to get to more of it tomorrow. There's one that I have to get to, though, is AOC complaining about the Republicans complaining about the suppression of the Hunter Biden laptop story. New York Post had this alleged information and was trying to publish it without any corroboration, without any backup information. They were trying to publish it to Twitter. Twitter did not let them, and now they were upset. I believe that political operatives who sought to inject explosive disinformation with the Washington Post couldn't get away with it. And now they're livid and they want the ability to do it again. They want the ability to inject this again. So they've dragged a social media platform here in Congress. They're weaponizing the use of this committee so that they can do it again. A whole hearing about a 24-hour hiccup in a right-wing political operation. That is why we are here right now. And it is it, it's just a, an abuse of public resources, an abuse of public time. We could be talking about health care. We could be talking about bringing down the cost of prescription drugs. We could be talking about abortion rights, civil rights, voting rights. But instead, we're talking about Hunter Biden's half-fake laptop story. I mean, this is an embarrassment. There it is. There it is. So first of all, the factual claims she's making are not true. 
She says it was a half fake laptop story. It's not. The Hunter Biden laptop story was completely 100% correct. It was not a right wing political operation or if the right wing obviously liked the story because it exposed the truth about the Biden family and a lot of crimes. But it was a true story. They got it completely right and the libs censored it anyway. What AOC just said there at the end though was her Hillary Clinton moment. What she said at the end there was her Benghazi hearing. What difference at this point does it make? What do, who cares? Who cares about the Hunter Biden laptop story? That was the commentary. The commentary from the hearing was, oh, who, are we wasting our time? Who cares about the Hunter Biden laptop story? Uh, you do. You guys obviously care. You obviously cared enough to instantly weaponize all of big tech to censor this story not just on the public platforms. You, you got big tech to, to prevent people from privately messaging the story. You thought this story was such a big deal. This story that's been proven 100% true. Even Hunter Biden admits it. And now he's suing, actually. <laughs> he said, Wait a second. Okay, I'm, years later, I'm willing to admit that it was my laptop. How'd you get it? I'm going to start suing you for it. You guys cared so much. You thought that this would be so detrimental to Biden's presidential campaign. Polls after the election showed that 12% of Biden voters said had they known about the, the Hunter Biden laptop story, they would not have voted for Joe Biden. Could have, could have been the difference between Biden winning and losing. You guys cared that much. And now you're pretending that we're the ones who are obsessed here. This is what the libs do all the time. They say, oh, who cares about transgender bathrooms? You do. That's why you're trying to change the bathrooms. We conservatives had no problem with men using the men's room and women using the women's room. You're the one who made a big deal about it. You're the ones that started passing all these crazy laws and showing up to the state capitals and screaming and crying and pretending that men are women. You, you're you the ones doing it. And conservatives should not fall for this. Do not fall for that, that trick and that trap of saying, well, you guys, if you, if you show any interest in this issue at all, you're, you guys are obsessives. You're fanatics. No. No, no, no. We like the truth. We care about the truth. You're the one starting all of the aggression in the culture wars, and now you got caught. We got you dead to rights, lady. Uh, the rest of the show continues now. You don't want to miss it. Become a member at dailywire.com slash Knowles. Use code Knowles at checkout for two months free on all annual plans.